Hey guys, JP Guy here playing some more Banjo Kazooie. We are right outside the entrance of Click Clock Wood. I think I might have missed an extra. Yeah, there's an extra life on top of that. But that's okay, we have enough lives. Um, earlier in a previous episode, I mentioned that I don't think we need to get through this tunnel, but now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure we do need to fall through here. Because if we look. There is still an additional platform. Now, what we need to do, I guess we might not actually have to. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do this. We need to open up this grate right here. And that will allow us to get to that level up there. So we need to raise the water level. I can't remember for sure, though. I'll have to think about this for a little bit. Um, but today what I want to do is I want to kind of wrap up and get all the, the things that we have missed. The last Jiggy in uh, Freeze Easy Peak and the last note there. Um, as well as um, the notes that I did collect in Clanker's Cavern but ended up needing to recollect because of the saving process. So I'll cut uh, quite a bit from this point. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back. Here's Boggy. Uh, we have not been able to do this. Um, actually, we were able to do this for quite a while. I thought I would leave it for now though, just to kind of wrap the series up a little bit. This is not the season finale. <laughs> season finale, like this is some kind of drama thing. Anyways, um, this is not the last episode, but this will be kind of um, taking care of the last little things we need just to, to complete the game 100%. Um, we're pretty good. We just need to get this very last G. I made the mistake that I really didn't want to make, and we're just going to end up losing the race. This is too easy. I'm giving up. It's a bummer. We lost. Let's try it again. Press A to race or B to back out. I have made that mistake before. I'm usually pretty good at not slipping there. There we go. Let's try again. And this one is a lot harder. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to do without the running shoes. If you remember from quite a while back, um, oh shoot. I might lose it again. Oh. But as you can see, it kind of slowed down because we were so far behind. As long as we don't fall super far behind that we ends up giving up like he did last time, then we can catch up. Like I mentioned before, he has these rubber band physics. But this is much harder than it was. I kind of wanted to get all those feathers, but that's okay. Right now we're just focusing on leaving the race. Okay, spam the jump button, and we finally beat him. It only took us two tries, even though I kind of goofed up. Um, the second time, I still managed to pull it off. And right there, guys, is the very last Jiggy in the game. Let's go ahead and grab it. I think we might get an achievement for this, too. Nope, guess not. Alright, I'll go ahead and cut to the point that I finally find that last note. Okay guys, I found the last note. It just happened to be right right behind this pole right here. Which technically that is the last note in the game. In the series, I collected all 900 notes now. It's pretty ridiculous that it was right there. I had a feeling it would be there though. So it actually didn't take me terribly long to find it. Thank goodness. Interestingly enough, when I re-entered Clinker's Cavern, Clinker was actually raised up. Which kind of surprised me. I thought he would have remained low. But he's up high. And I need to recollect these notes. 
because for some reason the game didn't seem collecting these notes. Because I remember watching the footage of that episode forever ago that I actually got those notes. Alright, let's go ahead and jump up here. I believe the last few notes are up here. Alright, guys. We are one note away from collecting all the notes in the game. Even though we collected this one already, we just got an achievement. Hooray. Called Music Maestro. I'm surprised we didn't get an achievement for all the Jiggies. Didn't we get them all? Hold up. Game totals. Yeah, we have all 100 Jiggies. All 900 notes and all 24 of the uh, honeycomb pieces. We'll go ahead and cut to the next part. Okay, guys, we're back here again. This is pretty ridiculous. I thought you had to use some special switch or something to open this grate, but turns out you just needed to break it. Kind of ridiculous, I know. Should have should have realized that. And this will lead us to the third switch. Now, unlike the other two switches, this switch is only temporary. And what we gotta do, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, we gotta head towards uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. I need to quickly swim up. There it is, guys. I'm barely gonna miss it. No, it's right there. <laughs> well, guys, you know the drill. I'm gonna cut back. Okay, attempt number two. Now that I am focused and know where I'm going, let's head this way, please. Okay guys, I made it. And here we have the last time we need to find che Cheeto. So another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck so in the burning fire, I'll check. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on Sandcastle floor and Treasure Trove Cove's gold feathers. So now we have all of the Cheeto cheats in the game. So we need to go ahead and put those in. But first, there's something else I wanted to take care of in this episode, just as a little fun bonus. I'll go ahead and cut to that point. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, we're right at Banjo's house. This is where a cool secret is. So what we want to do is we want to look... I don't know if I'm sitting in the right place. We want to look up at the painting of bottles inside Banjo's house. Why, wow, you found my moving secret, a secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Or maybe, now watch this. And so right here, we actually have a little puzzle piece in the game. We can place these puzzles over this moving picture. Let's see if I, how well I can do here. Now this one is the only the first of many, so this one actually goes fairly easily. Because most of the puzzle pieces are that are on the edges are pretty close to where they actually belong. Uh, this one. This one. This one. And it's kind of cool that like we're seeing a little image of Banjo kind of moving around. Um, 
there are multiple of these challenges and they get significantly harder as you go on. But there we go, that is the first um, uh, puzzle to do. And Bottles is going to tell us, use the tiles on the floor of the sandcastle in Trinity Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. This is pretty cool. Um, there's more challenges though. We want to unlock all of the, the cool cheats. Now, this time we're in Freeze Easy Peak. If you place the puzzle in the wrong spot, which is pretty easy to do, even if you don't intend it, um, you have to just pick it up again. Sometimes it's really stubborn. I think. There we go. Eventually, I think we're going to get to some puzzles that are going to force us to have to flip around, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, this is actually what you would do in order to open up a level in Banjo Tooie. You do one of these kind of puzzles. Instead of just um, completing a jigsaw piece, uh, piece automatically filling for you, you actually have to do one of these um, moving puzzle um, challenges. Which is kind of interesting, because while this is a kind of a bonus thing in, in this game, it actually becomes one of the staple elements of Banjo-Tooie. Um, and that's number two. I think at this point, I'm just gonna show myself completing each one. So that one says Bottles Bonus number two. Let's go ahead and do number three. Here we have a puzzle of Rusty Bucket Bay. It didn't fill me in on how to flip the, the piece. Uh, bottles? How do you flip the pieces? Uh, okay. I don't know why it didn't tell me. I might not have been paying attention, but you have to uh, use the other stick to flip it around. And I don't think I'll get this done in time. Okay guys, looks like I managed to get this on my first try. I was kind of surprised. Bottles bonus three is the next code. Now it's important, um, these codes will not work unless you unlock them. And every time you reset the game, I believe you have to re-unlock the codes, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, I got that one done. Not so bad. Easy, huh? You can now go and see the word, see what the word bottles bonus four does. I think that's what it said. Uh, next next puzzle is from Bubblegum Swamp. Okay guys, I got this one done with lots of spare time. I'm impressed. Go and try bottles bonus five. Okay. And now we have Mad Monster Mansion puzzle. Okay guys, looks like I managed to do this one in time as well. Well, I didn't think anyone would do that one. Well done. Here's your last prize. It's Big Bottles Bonus. Now, Bottle says it's the last one. Ah, fooled you. I got one really special prize left. Let's see you do this one, Featherface. I'm ready, Goggles. Here we go. I think he was about to say, like, er. There's no more left. You should check it out. Just kind of tricking us. But I was already aware there was one more to do. This one's really hard because it's all golden colored and honeycomb. Theme as well. Okay guys, I'm really close. Hopefully I can get this. Alright guys, we did it with four seconds left. And we get another achievement. Hey, you must have cheated to do that. No way, Bug Slurper. Now hand over the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for something good, some good, clean fun. Here's a reminder of my secret codes. Okay, so if you look at the picture again, then Bottles will talk to you and tell you all of the cheats. All right. I'll go ahead and cut over to Treasure Stove Cove.
Okay guys, I am back here to show off the cheats we unlocked. Now, what we want to do first is we want to do the red feathers cheat that we got, so I'll go ahead and type that in now. Okay guys, put that in, and that will give me a hundred feathers. Oh, my feathers, it makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt, I'll kick. So now we'll do the same thing for gold feathers. I'll go ahead and cut to that point as well. Alright guys, just like before, the same last three letters. 20 gold feathers you will get. New maximum 20 is. Gold feathers you may have 20, but bruises you'll still get 20. Alright, so now we put all the three um, cheats in, so what we want to do now is do um, all the different bottle bonus. Alright guys, get ready for this. It's like on the sea, something cool is going to happen. Bam! Giant head banjo! Ha ha ha! Look at you. To change back, just type no bonus. But we don't want to do that, we want to show off all the bottles bonuses so you guys can see what it looks like. Alright. I think I have to leave and come back, actually. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll go ahead and type in bottle bonus 2. And now we have giant feet and hands. Let me look ridiculous again. Jump in and out. Alright, let me do bottle bonus 3. Here we go! And this time Banjo's normal, but Kazooie's got a ginormous head. And the rest of her, I guess her wings are huge too. So Kazooie looks ridiculous now. Let's go ahead and exit and enter again. Alright guys, here's number four. Banjo's really skinny and he's got a tiny head. Banjo's like being hauled out on a stretcher, kind of ridiculous looking. Banjo's head's even smaller than Kazooie. And the weird thing is his like head kind of warps funny. It's like... Let's go ahead. Exit, come back in. Alright guys, bottle bonus 5, check it out. It's almost everything combined except for giant Kazooie head. And I guess giant Banjo hood, because his head's tiny instead. We have giant hands and feet, we look totally ridiculous, it's great. I love these cheats. Okay, let's go ahead and show off the last one. Let's see, actually there was, there's two more. So we want... Alright guys, this is big bottle bonus, which instead of having the long body, it's the combination of all the big stuff. So we got big feet, big hands, big heads for both Banjo and Kazooie. So we look totally ridiculous, we wobble around. I remember this being one of my favorite things. Um, I did this all the time. Every time you start over the game, you have to re-unlock them. So I wanted to make sure that I show them off now. Um, but we have one more cheat to show off. That is quite a diff bit different. Instead of typing in bottles bonuses stuff, we're typing in wishy-washy banjo. Alright guys. Hey, that much bad magic. Washer not as good as bear. Don't come balling to Mumbo if you can't get through all worlds. And as you can see, we're a washing machine. We can still do all the moves, because Zooey's completely invisible. We can do all the moves that we could do beforehand, but there are some weird glitches with it. Um, 
But with that, guys, I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Unfortunately, we can't use this in the remainder of the game. I could have done this in any of the previous stages, but for the final boss and things like that, we actually can't have any of those odd transformations, which is kind of a shame. Um, but I'll go ahead and end up the episode here. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Um, also, if you enjoyed this episode, um, make sure to give it a like and follow me on the social medias posted down below. And um, I'll go ahead and say bye. Bye.